Bamboo Labs has helped change the 3D printing game over the past few years. They've brought out new features, they've taken the good features from other printers, bad features from some too, but there's still more that the community wants and more that Bamboo Labs can be doing. Today I'm going to be telling you my personal seven things that I want to see from Bamboo Labs at least in the next couple of years. Some are completely unrealistic, some you may disagree with, and there are probably some that you want more than what I list. But these are the seven that I personally want. If yours are different or you disagree, let me know in the comments what you would like to see. These aren't in any particular order, but the first one I would like to see is Bamboo Studio for Apple's iPad. There's no reason this couldn't be on the iPad. These have been running the M chips for a long time now. They're more powerful enough. Probably can do with the Android tablets, but at least let's get an iPad version. To have something that powerful on the go, not needing to go to a desktop computer, Bamboo Handy is, you know, it's, it's okay in a pinch. It's okay for children but it's not anywhere near as powerful as Bamboo Studio itself. Blender has just announced that they're going to be releasing an app for the iPad. So if they can do it, Bamboo Studio certainly can. It's just slicing a couple of files. I can run Bamboo Studio on a way worse laptop than any of the iPads. Just being able to mount one of these like by here or on the go and take it with me without having to carry a whole laptop or a desktop PC just to slice some models. That would be a game changer for me. My next one, and I think a lot of the community would agree, is getting an official API for their printers. You could have custom controls, automation, build buttons for yourself, have your lights flicker if something's gone wrong, change to red if filaments run out. You could do all sorts. I know people have got it kind of working with Home Assistant, but these aren't any official routes. There's way better ways this could be integrated and done. I don't see this one happening, but you know, somebody can dream. Number three is a fairly simple one. I would like the printers to auto sleep once a print is done. I can see not everybody would need the reason for this, but say you know your print's gonna be done like two hours into you going to bed. Maybe you keep it in like a spare bedroom or something like that. You just want the lights to turn off and the screen to turn off. We have our screens on our P1Ss to stay on all the time because whilst I'm in here, I just wanna be able to turn around and see them. But maybe once a print is done, I don't need to see that screen. I can see the print is done. And once I start my next print then, the screen just comes back on, the lights come back on. That would be, I feel like, easy to integrate, something that Bamboo could actually do. That's just a feature I would like. Number four, which I think would be another easy option for Bamboo, is a delayed printer start. So, say you live in a house full of other people, quite sensitive to noise, or your printers are in like somewhat of a communal area, but you know there'll be nobody in, or people will be awake at a certain time. Set the printer to start at a certain time, and then you'll know when it's done. You can be there to watch for like a risky bit or you know you're gonna pause it a certain way or you know your filament is not arriving until a certain time. So if you start it then by the time your filament arrives, there's so many options and reasons why you would need a delayed start time and you might not be around to actually start the printer yourself. That would be something amazing to see through Bamboo. Number five, and this might be the most important one to me, is cardboard spool support for the AMS. I can't believe Bamboo brought out the AMS too, and I get it, they make their own filament, but cardboard spools are the way it's going. Most brands do cardboard spools. Our shelf is full of, I'm gonna say 85% cardboard spools. Everybody, everybody does put cardboard spools in their printers, whether it's with adapters or not, but we shouldn't have to be the one working around something like that. AMS in the first place, I, I get the first generation, Cardboard spools weren't as ubiquitous, but now every brand is doing it, apart from maybe a handful of certain filaments and bamboo themselves. But I'm not just gonna buy bamboo filaments. They don't do all the filament colors I would want brands. We need a good cardboard spool option. I don't know how they do it. The AMS light does it well, but I feel like the actual AMS, I don't know what the solution is, but I'm not paid millions to figure that out. Bamboo, please, please, some sort of option for it. Respooling is a nightmare, it doesn't always work. There's no universal sized hole for the respooling to work. And then you've got loads of different respools. So either the industry needs to figure it out, or if some engineer at Bamboo Labs can figure out a way to make the AMS work with cardboard spools, rather than the rubber tearing up my cardboard and chewing it inside the uh, AMS, then that would be great. So number six, and this might be a controversial one, but I'd like to see Bamboo bring out a resin printer. I would like to see the ease of use come to resin. Okay, we have the, the Allegro Ultra uh, Satin, is it? The, with 16K, that has a lot of nice features to it. 
but I feel like we need something like the Bamboo A1 and A1 Mini, how easy it is to just get into. You can open that thing up and within 20 minutes, if you give that to a 10 year old, they're already printing. If we could give that level of advanced quality and features for ease of use to a resin printer, and I think Bamboo could do it. I know they've got a lot on their plate at the moment. They've got like the, the laser cutter, H2D, H2S, and then we've got the hot end switching system coming out later this year. So I don't want them to be too diversified and not be able to support the products they currently have. But I'm sure there's a team on there. I'm sure they've thought about it and maybe are working on something. Not that we've heard anything, but that is something I would like to see from Bamboo. And finally, number seven, last but not least, this is probably one I think about once a month when I'm cleaning all of the poop behind all of my printers, is an official Bamboo Lab poop shoot solution. I know there's not a one size fits all, but it's crazy Bamboo have never come out with any sort of storage tray solution, any sort of like uh, the BQ options where you can put something under your printer and it'll collect it in a big drawer. I would like to see something from Bamboo. The way it comes out the back, most people haven't got their printer in the middle of their room come out the side, come out the front somehow, I'm not sure. Obviously with their nozzle switching, but that is still gonna require some sort of poop shoot. I would just like to see Bamboo's answer to that solution so it's more elegant and doesn't have to be printed and worked on by either third parties or the community. So those are the seven things that I'd like to see from Bamboo Lab. Did I miss anything on your wish list? Do you think I'm wrong about anything? Let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear what you guys would like to see from Bamboo Lab next. If you're still watching and you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. We've got a pretty big video teaser right here that you can see. That should be coming out in the next week or two. I needed more time to actually work with this thing. I want to give you a not a comprehensive review. It's still a first impression. We'll let I'll let you know down the line on the actual review. Click the links in the description. I've got a Patreon if you want to support the channel and all the links to my stores, social medias. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.